Hello and welcome to Three Free Cute TV, where you can get your fill of all things cute, tasty and kawaii. Now, as you're here, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you have an interest in Japanese snacks and candy. Maybe you're just getting started on your adventure into the world of Japanese treats, or maybe you're a veteran on everything from Pocky to Amiibo, breaking Kit Kats and clubbing Ramune like it's nobody's business. But did you ever feel like something could be missing? Maybe you're potentially overlooking some amazing snacks? It's a terrifying thought, right? But Worry not, because Tofuki is here! And today we're going to be showing you our top underrated Japanese snacks. Woo! Prepare yourself. Ta-da! Bakari sweat! Now I'm sure you can see why it often gets overlooked. I mean, it has sweat in the name. But don't judge a can by its cover. It's featured in a bunch of animes like Free, Bento, Lucky Star, and they even did an official collaboration with Yawamushi Pedal. And when they include it in anime, they often give it like a really funny name, so that just makes it even better. I spent a few summers in Japan and it is really hot and humid, and this is the thing that keeps me going. There's actually quite a few reasons why it's particularly good for you, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. Above all, it's tasty. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. The drink is really, really smooth. It has a kind of lemony, slightly like sweet, and a little bit salty flavor. It's really a subtle flavor. Oh, and did I mention, they sent it to the moon? They wrote the dreams of children on a capsule filled with Bukhari sweat, and they sent it to the moon. It is the only beverage that you can say is literally out of this world. <laughs> So bad. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of it because I think it is the best. My underrated snack is pretz. These are more of a savoury snack for savoury snack lovers. I spent the last year and a half walking past these. I was forced to try them last week and it changed my life. You get a massive bag. They have a real buttery creamy flavour and they're really quite moorish. I actually think they taste like the um, microwave butter popcorn bags you can get, which I really really love. My next snack is tomato pretz. The butter pretz are a Chinese version, but they're also sold in Japan, whereas these are a premium Japanese product. The box is a lot bigger, I've got some big juicy tomatoes there. Look at that. It's covered in like a salty tomatoey goodness. It's really crunchy. It has a really nice savoury, rich flavour, but it actually tastes like pizza. Oh, this is like the best kind of savoury stick that I've tried. I think they're so yummy. I deeply regret not trying them sooner. Think of all those tasty snacks I could have been eating up until now. You definitely won't regret trying them. The first of the two underrated snacks that I'll be sharing today is Yan Yan. Specifically, it's vanilla flavoured Yan Yan. Anyone who hasn't tried vanilla Yan Yan yet is severely missing out. So we have a section here of creamy vanilla flavoured dip and some extremely crispy breadsticks. But they're more crunchy than your average breadstick, so they're somewhere in between a breadstick and a biscuit. Make sure you're fully coated. Wow. Mm -mm. It really is just really satisfying and tasty. The creamy part here is actually the creamiest component of any Japanese snack that I've ever tried. You almost feel like you're eating a dessert, like a, a parfait. I can't stop eating these, they're so addictive. And I've had lunch today, <laughs> so it's not just because I'm hungry. My second underrated snack is melon pan cookies. The bottom of this little sack has this really, really cute print of melon pan houses, which is just adorable. Melon pan are made out of a buttery bread dough with a thin layer of cookie dough that becomes crispy when they're baked. They're super famous, they're sort of iconic in Japan. They also feature in a lot of anime. The reason they're called melon pan is actually not because they're flavored as melon. It's actually because of the look of them with that crisscross effect. They look a bit like cantaloupe melons or rock melons. They come in a cute resealable pouch. Ooh, look how smooth that was. These cookies are so cute. They are literally miniature versions of melon pan. Mmm. They're really delicious. The best bit of melon pan, as everyone knows, is that crispy cookie dough topping. And this is kind of like that topping, but all the way through. The entire thing is a crispy cookie topping. A top class melon pan experience. For this underrated snacks uh, video, we had planned in advance what snacks we were going to talk about. Unfortunately, the opportunity to talk about Bakari Sweat was, uh, you could say, robbed from me at the last minute. But I'm still going to talk about it. I love Bakari Sweat. 
Excellent. I'm sure Devon's already spoken all about the virtues of Picari Sweat and how fantastic it is. How the can is just really aesthetic with its blue and white. It's, it's simplicity. It's got a weird name. I understand that. It tastes kind of odd, perhaps, the first time you try it, but more people should respect Picari Sweat. Who wants to keep drinking the same fluids again and again? Not me. I prefer variety in my life. And quite frankly, Bakari Sweat is the spice of life. It is fantastic. I wouldn't do that if I didn't like it. This is my underrated snack for today. This is the Gudetama Rock Paper Scissors Candy Toy. For those who aren't familiar with who Gudetama is, he's this adorable lazy egg guy here. Inside is also tiny gum. You can eat while you play. The gum is also listed as vegetarian. Mm. It has a really nice crispy citrusy kind of shell. Your teeth just sinks right in. Really good gum actually. Let me call over a rival and see who wins the challenge. Rock, Rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Ah! You win. <laughs> but this is the best of three. Rock, Rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. What was that? You cheated. <laughs> I was delayed. Rock, Rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. Oh no no. Rock, Rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. <laughs> I win! <laughs> colon. You may wonder why it's called colon. Well, the thing is, they didn't put the budget into marketing and planning the name. Instead, they put all the work into making a delicious snack. It's produced by a little known company called Glico, who also made Pocky. It's beautiful. Mm. It's got a really light wafer around the outside and then it's filled with chocolate. When it's in your mouth, it kind of tastes heavier. But then once you've swallowed it, it's gone, it's really light. Mm. If you're not a huge chocolate fan, it also comes in strawberry. And occasionally it comes in other rare flavors like cream or matcha. People come up to me and they're like, what snack's good? And I'm like, colon. And then they just walk off. But they should really try it. It doesn't matter what it says on the box. It tastes delicious. It looks like a dog treat. It doesn't look like a dog treat. Do not feed these to your dogs. They contain chocolate, so that wouldn't be good. It's colon. You love it. So that is all for today, but I hope you were able to find something that piqued your interest that could become your new favourite snack. If you've tried any of them before, leave a comment down below letting us know what you thought of them and if you think they're underrated too. If you wanted to get your hands on any of the things you've seen in today's video, then there are links in the description down below to our website where you can find all of this stuff and so much more. We ship all over the world directly from the UK. If you enjoyed today's video, then please consider subscribing. I can't tell you how much we'd appreciate your support. And from all of us here at Tofuki, see you soon and stay Thank you. Bye bye. I just want to let everyone know that Glico in no way endorses um, this specific video that I'm not sponsored by Glico to try to sell colon, that I do not get 3p per every colon that I sell. Um, I thought it was important to know that.